In this episode of OcuTalk, we'll be taking a closer look at what glaucoma is and the potential treatment options for it with specialist Dr. Austin Lifford. Dr. Lifford? I want to talk to you. Not now, later. No, now. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of OcuTalk. My name is Nick, and today we have a very special guest coming to you from Gross Nickel Eye Center, Dr. Austin Lifford. Dr. Lifford, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Nick. Good to be here. Excellent. Uh, so, Doctor, before we get started, I was hoping you could tell us a little bit about your uh, background and your specialty. Sure. So, I uh, graduated from Indiana University in 2003, and I've been in an uh, ophthalmology referral center uh, and hospital setting since then. And my specialty or my interest is glaucoma. Perfect. Go Hoosiers. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and so, uh, Dr. Lifford, could you uh, go into a little more detail exactly about glaucoma and uh, the potential causes for the condition? Yeah. I mean, what can I tell you about it? It's, um, I'll tell you, it's a, a relatively common condition in that it can affect patients of all ages more as we get older. And the problem is it can be undetected, uh, both by the patient that doesn't have any symptoms, and by the provider, unless we're looking for it, it can be easily missed. Uh, usually it's related to higher elevated intraocular pressures, but there's a fair amount of patients who have glaucoma and with pressures in normal range. So we can't use that as our main guide for diagnosing glaucoma. Um, it's usually related to higher eye pressures, as I mentioned though, and it can cause damage to the optic nerve, which can affect parts of our side vision. And it's irreversible. So ideally, the earlier we could diagnose it, the better the prognosis. Gotcha. And um, are there any uh, different kinds of glaucoma? Yeah, there's two main categories of glaucoma. There's open angle glaucoma and there's angle or closed angle glaucoma. Uh, usually the open angle glaucoma might be slower to develop and is less symptomatic, whereas closed angle glaucoma is more, uh, develops more rapidly and is more symptomatic with headaches or um, blurry vision, redness in the eye conditions, other symptoms like that. And um, are there any like long-term effects uh, to the vision uh, with glaucoma? Yeah, um, as I mentioned earlier, it can be pretty asymptomatic, especially in earlier moderate stages. So it's hard for the patient themselves to detect glaucoma damage. However, if there is damage and it's not uh, detected or treated sufficiently, it can cause irreversible uh, vision loss, which can affect parts of our vision off to the side and centrally as well. Gotcha. And uh, what are the treatment options for glaucoma? Well, fortunately, there are some treatment, some really great treatment options available now. The best way to treat glaucoma is to lower your eye pressure. And one way of doing that is by using eye drops, which usually works pretty well. Sometimes some patients are fine with just one eye drop. Sometimes it takes a couple of different types to lower the eye pressure. Another way to do it is by doing a type of laser procedure and or surgery. So for some patients, it could be a combination of drops, laser, and surgery depend on the type of glaucoma, the stage of the disease, and the age of the patient. And you talked about laser treatments. Uh, are there are those the new de new technologies, new developments in, in treatment? Or are there any other new uh, developments with the treatment for glaucoma? Yeah, specifically for the laser, there's a laser called SLT, Selective Laser Trabeculoplasty. And a recent study, the LIGHT study, found that it's, it can be a very effective first-line treatment option to help the patient have um, better eye pressure control less overall cost of medications and less side effects. Gotcha. Um, and is there anything else that you would like to tell our viewers? Yeah, I'd love to tell you more about glaucoma. I'll tell you a couple of things that I think would, would be ideal is if at the end of each exam, when a patient goes in for an eye exam, they ask the, the doctor, the provider, do I have any signs of glaucoma? And if the provider in their mind could ask, does this at least think, at least consider for themselves, does this patient have any signs of glaucoma? I think if we're more aware of it, both with the provider side and the patient side, we're more likely to detect glaucoma. Well, perfect. Uh, Dr. Lifford, that was amazing. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. And uh, again, everyone, that was Dr. Austin Lifford from Gross Nickel Eye, Eye Center. Uh, again, doctor, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Nick. Great talking to you.